Hello there, Richard here from the TraderView team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to split and merge your trades in TraderView. So first of all, in TraderView, an execution is just an individual buy or sell. A trade is a group of executions and only trades have PNL associated. So when you import all of these trade executions into TraderView, it uses an algorithm to group your trade executions together into logical trades. In a highly simplified form, this algorithm basically starts a new trade if a, you change sides, for example, long or short, or B, it's been over a certain time limit since you last trade closed. Otherwise, it may continue the prior trade. So with that being said, let's go to the settings, take a deeper look into the different modes that we have when importing our trades. So if you go to the settings and then you go to trade settings, you can see that we have three trade import auto merge settings. So we have the normal, which basically intelligently group trades based on when you change sides, how much time elapses between trades, etc. So you have also merge when possible, aggressively merge executions together into as few trades as possible when those executions occur on the same day and then you have split when possible, create a new trade whenever a new execution is encountered when your position is flat. So with that being said, if you're in doubt in which mode you should uh, import your trades, we strongly suggest you use normal. And so with that being said, let's now go to the import trade section and import some trades so we can then have an example of uh, how to merge and split manually. So in this case, I'm going to import this file coming from trade zero. All right, so as you can see, we imported three traits uh, coming from the ticker ARLO. So you can see they are the same ticker, but different dates. But what if I wanted to merge them? What if I wanted to make and make them like one whole trait? Well, in that case, something that we can do is use the bulk editor. We can select the three traits then click on merge traits and then submit pop up will come up are you sure this will affect the three traits gonna click and accept and as you can see I'm now I have now merged all traits into one so now trade to be understands that this is basically only one trade uh, despite the fact that is uh, that it was executed on multiple days so you can see that all the trade executions here inside um so what about if you wanted to split your trades so in that case you can do that by going to advance and then you have two options you can either split your trades um like automatically identified by trader view or you can also do manual split so first of all let's go to split trade so you can see so here basically trader view is telling you um how he understands how the tool under, understands that the trade should be split so it's telling you they could be split by this days and this day so let's try and do that let's go ahead and click split straight trade and as you can see now the trade has been splitted and now you can go even uh, deeper into that and split again so if we click on advance here and again split trade you we will see that we have like one uh, way of splitting the trade left basically according to trade view. but let's go and try do a manual split let's click here in the first one on details then go to advance then go to manual split so as you can see here basically I can select um, the ones that I like how I want to split my trade and so basically the only criteria that has to meet is that it has to um, end up being on sc like scratch like flat so for example here I'm saying that on the 7th and the and on the 8th of uh, December 2021 I bought 100 shares and then 50 shares for this price right and so I'm then saying that on the 19th of December 2021 I sold 150 which if you do the math it's basically gonna let you um, flat on this position if you go ahead and click on split trade 
you can see that now we have a third trade and now we're back um, to the beginning to square one so for more information about how to merge and split your trades, you can refer to an article that should be in the description below, or you can always reach out to us at support at and we'll be more than happy to assist you.